Alrighty guys, so today was super exciting at the park. As you saw on all social media platforms that we have, we were heading off to the park today because we got some exciting news that something had arrived and we are able to use what arrived to give you a very small range for the height of this coaster. So that's super exciting. So stay tuned for that because we are going to give our prediction on the height of this coaster. Um, we're going to give you a couple of predictions on the coaster layout now. Um, but yeah, great. A lot going on on the construction site today. It's super exciting. So um, we definitely can confirm that they are building a basement type structure for the pre-lift. It looks like a lot of the equipment will be underneath the, um, the pre-lift itself and that maintenance will probably be able to go down there and work on it. Whereas Valravens is above ground, ours is underground. Um, so again, yeah, our, our lift hill is starting underground uh, if that makes sense and it's working its way up they were working on the remaining two footers that they need to work on in this area and then from what i am understanding and predicting again our videos are speculation videos they are done all the footers for about half the coaster the fenced off portion of this coaster will be done in fact vertical construction is probably going to begin any day now we know that things objects um electrical ride parts structure track is arriving daily now it was every other day to start it is daily in fact as i'm recording this video i have a guest from wonderland who just so happens to stumble upon our page sending me pictures of more transfer track and shed or supports arriving right now so super exciting things are arriving so actually this morning um, things are arriving twice a day now because the elevator track pieces arrived this morning and now we have, um, the actual, what am I going to, what, what word am I looking for? We, we have the transfer supports arriving. I'm so ker kerfuffled with this project right now. Um, but yeah, lots going on. So as you can see here, they're actually like loading dirt back into it around this building and like really stamping it hard. So it like. I guess is a lot stronger than just loose soil. So they're like, they're cleaning up. If you actually look at some of the other footers too, and I, where there's shots that it, are here, they were literally compacting soil all around all the footers and getting ready to level the land back. So that's super exciting. So this is what I was talking about. The elevator track pieces like you see on Bow Raven have arrived. They're green. Um, I am actually starting to really love this color scheme. And there are nine pieces. There are nine pieces. So there's one right up there. It's hard to see, but you can see the little two white dots on it right there. Um, so nine pieces. Um, I did measure them. It was super easy to measure. So basically what I did is uh, they're aligned with parking spots. And then I went out to an actual parking spot and measured the size of the parking spot. And we got 17 to 18 feet for the, each piece of track. So this is important because we're going to assume what's here is all that's arriving. And I think that's a fair assumption because it comes to a very decent height with assuming this is all that's arriving. So again, 17 to 18 feet, we're gonna assume 17. It was about 18 feet in total, but we're gonna assume 17. And we're also going to assume um, eight pieces instead of nine, just to account for slight air. So again, um, super exciting. Um, so we got about, let's just say between, <laughs> I'm trying to like not reveal it too soon in the video, but yeah, we're getting a really good height, um, estimate for this coaster. In fact, if you remember yesterday, we were starting to feel like the coaster might be a little smaller and we were starting to actually feel like the coaster might be the same height as Val Raven. Well, that's not the case. Okay. It's not a giga. And it's not smaller than Val Raven. That we can confirm. So you can knock both those um, theories out the window. It's not a giga. I'm so sorry, guys. But like we said in all of our videos before, we really didn't believe it ourselves. And we were the ones speculating. We were just going off of things we were seeing on the construction site. But I will tell you, what we were seeing was leading us in the right direction. This may not be a giga. But this is going to be a tall dive coaster if all of our measurements are correct. Now that we know the height of the elevator um, shaft or track, um, which is correct, those measurements are 100% correct. There is no room for significant error there. 
we now know if our angle of ascent is correct and most and all dive coasters angle at 47 degrees we're actually estimating that this coaster is going to angle at 45.8 so that's that's allowing some room for error as well um so we're going to assume 45.8 degrees to be extra safe um and then we're also so again you're taking the 45.8 and you're taking the length of this elevator track pieces and you're going to get around 240 feet 246 feet or 255 feet and the 255 feet is how do i word this it's it's interesting so if you've watched our videos from the beginning there's one number that keeps coming up in all of our estimates and calculations what is that number that number is 255 feet. So one could assume um, with a 45.8 degree angle of ascent that all of our calculations are adding up to 255 feet. So again, 336 feet of elevator track at a 45.8 degree angle would give us 250 anywhere from 241 to 255 feet um all coming down to the angle of ascent and the um taking out that room for air on the elevator shaft the elevator shaft does not bend at the bottom and the top so all of that is for the actual length of the lift hill so at amusement insiders and myself I'm going to give our final prediction on the height. It's already been on the screen for a couple seconds now, so you already know, but we are estimating the coaster. Again, this is an estimate based off of calculations, but we believe we have strong enough evidence with the elevator pieces that have arrived to suggest the coaster is going to be anywhere from 240 feet to 255 feet in height. In height. Okay, not drop, height. We don't think, we're, we're not sure the length of the coaster will beat Valraven. We're not fully sure, but we're estimating anywhere from around the same length as Valraven based off, our, based off of our measurements to 4,000 feet. And we've even gotten about 4,300 feet in some calculations. So it could go anywhere from being the same length as Valraven to being longer. It has a very large pot of land to work its way through. For any of you who've been following along, we know this goes all the way over to Timberwolf's queue line and works its way back. However, because it's such a drawn layout, drawn out layout, it actually may actually reduce its length because it's not like Val Raven where it's twisting in and out of itself. So they end up being around the same length from basically what we're seeing or calculating, but it could end up being longer. We're not sure yet. The inversions, we are predicting three inversions, but again, there is a small piece that we can't account for on our blueprints. So it could be four in the end. So it may be the same amount of inversions as Val Raven, or it may have that one extra, but it's not gonna be any more than four, that's for sure. So with the height, one could assume that the drop um, estimating that the tunnel is about 24 to 40 feet deep max, that this is not going to reach a giga drop height. Um, it will probably be in the 270 range if I had to take a guess for for height um, of the drop. Sorry, for drop, not the height. Um, and again, these are all calculations, so don't don't be too upset. We could be wrong. This coaster could be smaller. It could be larger. Who knows yet? It, it all comes down to the final calculations. It's really up to the angle of ascent at this point um, to determine if our height estimations are correct. We are down to almost 34 days until announcement. There's no teasers yet. We don't even have what we're looking for is anything that um, says records. That's what we need to know to confirm some of our estimates and calculations. We need to see records or this is going to be like massive something in the teasing campaign that would suggest we were onto the right track. So we're waiting for the teasing campaign to verify. But again, we do, I, well, I should say I do, I feel strongly with what we see from the elevator shaft once again, to suggest that this coaster is going to beat Val Raven's records. Um, it's just the math adds up um, and you don't see a dive coaster with an angle less than 45 degrees They're In fact, they're all 47 degrees angles of ascent. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong down below, but people have been telling me that all dive coasters are 47 degrees. So in fact, this would be slightly taller by just a bit 
we did the calculation, so it would be anywhere from 246 feet to 260 feet tall if it's a 47 degree angle, just for those that are curious about that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video, please. Thanks so much. We are almost at 5,000 subscribers. We are so close, so push me over that edge tonight if you could. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.